Hey guys, it's Fook, and today I'm back with a quickie tutorial. And what I'm going to show you today is how to convert your uh, 360 degree panorama photo into a 360 degree video that you can then post on YouTube. Now obviously YouTube is a video site so you can't post photos directly there. But if you convert them first to a video, then you can. If you're a pro video editor, you probably know how to do this so this tutorial is not for you. The bit that you may find interesting is how to inject the metadata into that video so that YouTube recognizes it as a 360 degree spherical panorama. So let me show you first what the result looks like um, and then I'll show you how to do it. So this is an example that I shot with my Samsung Gear 360 and uh, it's just the photo and what I did was I added a music track and made it into a video. So you can see here that it's uh, playing the music, but I can move around. And uh, right now it's in HD settings, so it's gonna look a little blurry, but it's really in 4K. And, and I'll show you that with the image. But as you can see, you can really you know move around, do all of that. If I do switch it manually to 4K and give it a little time to, uh, to buffer, it should get clearer. So you can kind of see um, some of that clearing up. So anyways, how do we do this? Let me go ahead and pause this. All you need is Photoshop. Now clearly you can do this with uh, uh, a video editor, but it's just more complicated with video editor. So here's what you do. First you load up the image that you're interested in converting to a video. And uh, I have one that I'm going to use from Balboa Park in San Diego, which was that video you just saw. So basically here it is, shot with the Samsung Gear 360 and uh, edited for color, contrast and all of that. The next thing to do is to add this to a video timeline within Photoshop. Yes, you heard that right. So we're going to add it to this uh, video timeline right here within Photoshop. And if you don't have this, and you may not. Uh, it's very easy. Just go to Windows and make sure that timeline is checked. If you don't have that checked, it'll look like this, which is probably your standard Photoshop view for most folks. So switch on the timeline. And then once you have your image open, you should have this button that says Create Video Timeline. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Then it's a matter of moving to the right edge of the video so your cursor changes, clicking and holding down and dragging it until you get to the right length that you want. I have a piece of music that's about, that's about 1 minute 30 seconds, so I'm going to make this exactly 1 minute 30. And then to add a music track, you just go to the audio track and click the little music icon and say add audio. And I have a, I have a minute 30 second of audio that I can uh, insert into here, so I'm going to do that. And you can see that it comes down right below. And now it's render time. And to render, it's this little arrow icon down here, right next to, uh, right next to where it says time, you know, right here. And if you don't know where it is, you may be looking and go, how do I get this to a video? So you basically just click it, set your quality. I usually leave it at high quality. And then make sure that your document size um, is uh, twice the width as it is high. So uh, on this one, it's defaulting to 4096 by 2304, which is not exactly 2 to 1. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to UHD 4K, which is 3840 by 1920. So 1920 times 2 would be 3840. And then it's a matter of giving it a name, location, and rendering it. Okay. Once you're done with that, that's not the final step. If you upload that video up to YouTube, you'll see this image as a video. You'll see it with the music. Uh, you'll hear it with the music. But it's going to display as a equirectangular projection. So you're seeing the whole spherical panorama flattened down. And uh, that's not what we want. We want to make it a true 360 spherical panorama. So what you have to do is you have to inject metadata into that video. So this is what you would do. There's a program that's free. It's called uh, Media Metadata Injector. Okay? It runs on Mac and it runs on Windows. Uh, when you open it, you get this little, this little view. 
um, looks like it was written in Python. Um, you click on open, you select your video, and then you check the box of what it is. So by default, my, my video is spherical, 360 is checked. Once you have that, you just click inject metadata. It gives you a new name with this injected kind of uh, suffix, and then you click save. Then you would upload that uh, injected metadata video to YouTube. The whole process goes very quickly, so it doesn't take very long to inject the, the metadata, and it doesn't take very long to uh, uh, build the video within Photoshop either. It's just much quicker than loading up your video editor, trying to import assets, create timelines, do all of that jazz, set up you know how, uh, how big the video should be, dimension-wise, all of that jazz you don't have to deal with. You can just go directly to Photoshop. This works in uh, all the latest versions of Photoshop, certainly from CS6 onward. So I hope you like this tip and this tutorial. And uh, give me a thumbs up and come back and check back here. I'll have more videos and tutorials on how to do things like this uh, in the future. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.